I'm Jennifer Carroll from CelebratingEverydayLife.com and welcome to another Junk Journal tutorial. Let's get started. In today's episode, we are going to make pockets for our junk journal. Now in the episode, the how to make a junk journal, we made this um, journal and I walked through the steps of how to actually make this, how to bind this. So if you missed that video, um, please look for it in the YouTube. It should be on the playlist, how to make a junk journal. And that shows you how we got to this point. And in that video, I know I chatted a lot, but we did talk at the very end a little bit about pockets and tabs, things like that. And in that video, I showed you a flat pocket. So that was where we took one of the printables from my Etsy shop and we cut it out and we just attached it with glue on three sides, just a flat card, and we made this pocket. Now, that is a, a way I make a lot of pockets. I like just making pockets that way. It's super duper easy. Um, I would say one of the downsides is that you do lose a little bit of the width of the pocket because you have the glue line. Now, you know, I try to glue them fairly close to the edge so you don't lose too much, but that is one downside of the pockets with the flat cards that way. So today I wanna to show you another way that's going to let you keep all of this space here for the pockets. So I'll take that out for a second. So let's flip the page and here we go. Now, the great thing about pockets is that you can make them out of really anything. You can make them out of paper, you can make them out of fabric, you can make them out of ribbon, so many things. So today I'm gonna to show you, we're gonna make one out of a paper bag and we're gonna use some ribbon because I actually wanna make a two layered pocket. All right, we're going big here, guys. So what we're gonna do is first, we're going to measure how high we want our pocket. You can make your pockets any height that you want. So I, because I know I wanna use this ribbon also, I'm going to lay my paper down and I'm also gonna bring my ribbon. So I've not cut anything yet. Do you guys remember the old saying, measure twice, cut once? That's what we're doing. So we're gonna lay everything out and I can see here, this is my uh, at bottom, because I can see that. So I know this is the edge of my journal. And yeah, I like that. You know, you could come up or down. It's totally up to you. Um, but yeah, I, I'm happy with that. That's gonna give me some room for tucking here with a little bit of a background and I will still have plenty of tuck space here and I can still see the paper design. So I like that. So I'm gonna take a piece of uh, a pencil and I'm just gonna make sure that I'm on the line here. And oh, let me try and, I'd rather cut a little too long than too short. All right, that looks good. And I'm gonna, and I'm not gonna even worry about those mess lines because I'm gonna cover that with the ribbon. And if I had my paper cutter, I could just do that, but it's not out here right this second. So I'm just gonna cut this across. Okay, awesome. Set that aside. So now I have this, but you'll see because it's a paper bag, I still have, it's connected. So I wanna come to where these gussets are and I'm just gonna use these lines and I'm gonna cut on the gusset seam line. And I'm gonna do that on each side to separate this for me, okay? So away we go and separate that. Now, if you want to keep, like I think this is kind of cute how it has this little center cut out. If you wanna keep that, you're gonna to have to pay attention to centering this um, on your page because you're gonna notice this is bigger. And this is an important, I want to point this out to you that it's important that your paper be wider if you're gonna do the kind of pocket we're about to do. You're gonna need a gusset. So make sure you cut your paper wider. So if you were gonna use regular paper, make sure when you're measuring the height, you wanna leave yourself some extra and you're gonna see why next in this next part that we're doing. But I'm gonna center this up, okay? And then I want to make note, I'm gonna use my bone folder because I'm actually not looking to make a bunch of extra lines here right now. And I'm going to just, oops, I'm gonna use the edge of it there and I'm gonna come down and you'll see I'm giving myself a couple of lines to work with, okay? 
So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to fold this in a little. Now, if I were not trying to save this little center piece, like if I was using this side, I could just keep one of these gussets and measure in from the side there. But I like that little, that little notch out there and I'm trying to keep that. So I'm going to fold these in to the lines that I scored with the bone folder. And so now you can see we are in more narrow and it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. And you know, again, the golden rule with these junk journals is that they are handmade. This does not have to be perfect. So let's let ourselves off the perfection train, everybody, okay? All right, so I'm gonna flip this over. And as you'll see, there's more gusset here than I need because I just want enough that I can glue to it and that's what I'm gonna glue to the paper and that is what's going to allow me, I'm gonna show you, once it's in, that is what's gonna give me the full pocket range because when I tuck stuff in there, it's gonna be within the gussets. Does that make sense? Okay, and if you don't mind having that little bit of paper there, you can leave it, it's up to you. But I'm just gonna trim a little bit of it off because I don't want to see behind I don't want to see that in the notch but I'm still leaving a fair amount you don't have to leave as much as I left you could leave even that little section to where we folded but you just like I said you want to have enough that you can you're gonna, we're gonna glue against that. So let's do that. I'm just gonna grab my Fabri-Tac because it's handy and it's also one of my favorite glues because it sets up so fast. I love how fast this sets up. I am not the world's most patient crafter, I'll admit it. It's not my super strength. Be careful though when you're gluing, you do not wanna get it on this part of your uh, paper, okay? So that is one thing to be mindful of when you're getting near the edge. Don't get it on that part, okay? So we've got the glue on our little gusset seams, right? So now we're gonna take, we're gonna bring this back down. We're gonna flip this over and I'm gonna line it up at the bottom of the page, right there. I'm gonna press down so that it adheres and it's gonna set up fast. And so again, so now I'm gonna try and pick this up because I want you to see, hopefully you can see in here, we have a little pocket now. So I'm gonna take like this card and now, dee, 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 dee. do you see how this goes all the way to the edge? And again, on this side, all the way to the edge, yay. And because I was in a hurry to show you that, I didn't show you this bottom part. Now, if you wanted it to truly go to the bottom, you could have left a little extra, folded it over and glued it. I personally don't care about that on this one because I'm gonna have this second lower uh, level, so I don't need the full space. So I'm just gonna put a little bead of glue right here at the bottom, okay? And just attach that down there. That's gonna close this bottom seam off for me, but again, if you had wanted it to last, to wrap, you could have left a little extra here, folded that up and treated that just like those seams that we used on the sides, those side gussets. You could have used that flap at the bottom, folded it, glued the back of that, put that down, and that would have given you the full range in there. But as it is, I'm personally really happy with that. I know I'm gonna get down far, no big deal. Now, let's add a little more detail. So on this, we can do the same thing. We can take the ribbon and we can give ourselves an allowance, right? Do some extra. It's just, we won't need a lot extra. Since this is a plaid, I know I've got that line there and I've gone over just a couple. So I can come over here and give myself about the same amount of space there. And then I can just fold that little bit over and that little bit over just like that. And that's how it would look, okay? So 
I'm going to flip this. On this one, I am going to actually put my glue right on the paper. I've got a little bubble of glue starting here. I'm gonna put a little bit of it on the paper because I wanna make sure I get this really how I want. And again, I'm gonna add my glue the last step in just a second. But because this ribbon, I've not pressed this ribbon yet, so I haven't given myself a hard seam to work with. I'm having to adjust it a little bit on the fly with you guys. Isn't that fun? It's live crafting. All right, do, do, do. there we go, yay. All right, so that side is down. This side needs just a little more glue, just a little. So I'm gonna put a little more glue right down there. Okay, awesome, Wee! and there we go. And now I'm gonna add a little bit here at the bottom. I'm just gonna come in like we just did with the, the back of the paper bag. I'm gonna add a little thin bead right down here at the bottom, just a little thin one, okay? Not a lot of glue here. It doesn't take a lot. And just put that down. I could take my easy press, like my mini. If you guys happen to have this little mini, I could plug that in and very lightly, quickly, kind of go over that if it were heated up. I haven't heated it, but even just pressing on it, gosh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of pressing a little seam in there, which is awesome. And just be mindful of your corners, okay? Like I see, I've got a little corner that's wanting to pop up. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue there, okay? And I'm noticing it's also a little bit on the inside, so I'm just gonna tuck in there, put a little glue there, put my finger down there, Okay. Always make sure you're using a work surface that, um, you know, like that's going to be okay with glue and cutting, anything like that. So be mindful of your surface. I'm notorious for starting to sit down at my dining room table and always catching myself going, no, wait, put something under that. So now we have a double pocket, you guys. We've got this front pocket, this second pocket back here. Now, the ribbon pocket is not gonna be as tight as the paper. If you wanna really make sure it's tighter, you might need to add a little something. But what I love about this kind of thing is that you can now add, if you've got little trims, things like that, you can start to add little fun details in there and you've made a double pocket and that took no time. So again, just wanna go over, we've got this kind of flat card pocket, which is like this, where we have simply taken, we've put, in, put glue on three sides, left the top open. That's what we have here. But the downside again is you're gonna lose a little bit of the, the space inside the pocket for tucking. It's not the end of the world, but that is the difference with that. With this second pocket, we have taken, we have put a gusset in there. So we have a little bit of paper folded in the back and because of that, this is a fold. We have our full pocket range here. And then we got a little extra fancy and we did the same thing down here, but with ribbon. And you could even add little stickers and oh, so many fun things. So we're not into all the embellishing yet. These are, this is still part of our foundation, but it's an important part of our foundation. So I hope you guys will give this a try. I cannot wait to see what you make. If you've not already joined my Facebook group, please make sure to jump in and join the Celebrating Junk Journals Facebook group. I would love to have you there crafting with me. Please make sure to follow me on YouTube. I'd love for you to click like on this box, click subscribe. If you wanna be alerted every time I do a new YouTube video, please click the little bell because that's gonna send you a magical alert that ah, Jennifer has a new junk journal video or new craft video up. And I'd love for you to be part of seeing everything when it's fresh and brand new. Please don't forget to visit the blog, celebratingeverydaylife.com. And I think that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you'll make it. Please send me a picture, join the Facebook group. I'd love to see what you're making and let's keep crafting together. So. Thanks so much. Be blessed. And I hope you find ways to keep celebrating everyday life. Bye.